So, it's me, your boy, K. Samson. I have something special for us today. You know, you are no longer that type of person that they can change his or her future. Yes, let me tell you. <laughs> Do you know that <laughs> witches, wizards, enemies, frustrators, they can gang up themselves for your sake just to change your future? You may not be aware of this. Let me tell you. The Bible makes me to understand that God said in his word that he will open up the windows of heaven and pour out his blessing, that there will not be a room. That means the blessing of God is not in the door, it's not being released from any other angle rather than the window. So that means you need to understand that there is a reason why Jezebel sit in the window. <laughs> There's a reason why she, do, she was there, and there's a reason why she sat there for so long. But the Bible said she fell down from the window. That means she had been sitting on the glory of many. <laughs> she had been blocking many people with glory, hindering them from what accomplishing their purpose. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, it's too late for them to act. It's too late for them to operate. It's too late for them to do it, to act with your glory. Why? Because it was yesterday that they ought to stop it. Not today, nor forever again. Listen, the Bible makes me to understand that there was a man who was sitting on the glory of what Isaiah, who was called what, King Hosea. The Bible said the year Hosea died, that is the year Isaiah see, saw the Lord. That means... Hosea had been covering the glory of what? Of Isaiah. And if you read the book of Esther, you come to understand that there is also a man called Herman who was an, a, a noble man. If you come to understand, you figure it out deeply. If you come to use the spiritual understanding, you know that Herman was not ordinary man but a man that have that spirit of witchcraft a man who was sitting on the glory of Esther and his brethren so they can no longer sit on your glory it is too late for them to sit on your glory <laughs> listen this may be a declare prophetic word it may be a declaration upon your head listen it is already too late for them to sit on your glory. It is, it is already too late for them to manipulate. It is already too late for them to walk every walk in your life. And it come to pass. Why? Because the Bible say, Call upon me in the days of trouble that I will answer you and show you signs and wonders that you know not of. He said, Who is that that speak? And it shall come to pass when the Lord our God have not yet commanded. He said, Once have I spoken, but twice have we held him, that all power belongs to the Lord. So what does that tell you is that no weapon form against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up, that means they must surely rise up against you as a choosing. Hosea was sitting on the glory of our word of Isaiah. Isaiah was called to be a prophet. Isaiah was called to be a man of God. But Isaiah had been waiting for, for what for the accomplishment. That means if Peventure Hosea was not dead, if Peventure Isaiah was not dead, Isaiah will, not, Isaiah will have not be able to prophesy the coming of the glory, which is called God Christ. You see where it comes from. You see the reason why I'm telling you. You see it. Because the moment Hosea died, that is when the prophecy of Isaiah was what announced. He, he, see, he automatically saw, see the Lord. Because Hosea had been sitting as a barrier to his career. Who is that that is sitting on your glory? I'm here to tell them. My word, the word of God will not come back to him until accomplish the reason why it is being released. And the Bible says, Whatsoever we decree on earth shall be decreed in heaven. And the Bible says, Who is that that speaketh? And it shall come to pass when the Lord our God have not fully commanded. It is over. It is. Listen, Isaiah was the one who prophesied the coming of Messiah. 
That means if peradventure Hosea was alive, that the prophecy of Isaiah of Christ had been delayed. That's why I always tell those brothers, no matter how many they are, no matter whom they are, where they come from, when God said this is your moment, when God announced this is your season, when God announced this is your, your period, when God announced this is your chance, not even the world, the dead, not even the wolf, not even the storm can stop God from what from manifesting. They can't stop you from accomplishing the purpose why God sent you into this world. And that is why majority of them are annoyed. They can't stop the mission of God in your life. They can only try, but they can't conquer you. Why? Because you are greater than what conquer. Why? Because Christ has conquered all on the cross. And on the cross, he concluded all and said, it is what finished. So my brothers, do not be afraid. Because you are more than what can carries. You are superior than failure. You are superior than what, than, than, than what losing. You are superior than all. May God bless you. Remain blessed.